let's look at a different way to solve a system of equations. To change things up a bit, let's look at a system that contains a linear and a quadratic equation. As we did before, let's start by entering the equations using the y equals screen on our calculator. For y1, we'll enter equation number 1. This time, that's x squared. Using the variable button, hit x, caret, 2 to enter x squared. Press down on your cursor to move down to y2, and we'll enter the second equation, negative 2x plus 3. From here, go ahead and hit graph. Once we graph the system, we can see very clearly that there are exactly two solutions. In other words, there are two points of intersection. There's one located over here in quadrant 2, and another located lower here in quadrant 1. We can predict that the first solution over here on the left is located around the point x equals negative 3, and the second solution over here in quadrant 1 is located around the point x equals 1. Let's find those points exactly, this time without using the table of values. I'm going to hit second, trace on my calculator, and select option number 5 to calculate the point of intersect. The calculator will ask for a value on the first curve. What the calculator is asking you to do is to relocate the cursor so that it is located near the point of intersection on the first line in the system. Once you've located your cursor near the point of intersection, hit enter. The calculator now asks for the second curve. In other words, it's asking you to place the cursor near the point of intersection on the second line in the system. Since our cursor is already there, we'll hit enter. And finally, the calculator asks for your best guess. Our cursor is already placed very near the point of intersection, so go ahead and hit enter again. The calculator calculates the point of intersection, which is the solution to this system, at x equals negative 3, y equals 9. But there is a second solution to the system. Let's follow the same steps to find the second solution. Hit second, trace, select option 5, intersect, then move your cursor over to the point of intersection in quadrant 1. Once your cursor is near the point of intersection, hit enter. For second curve, without moving your cursor, hit enter again. And finally for guess, hit enter one more time. The calculator will find the point of intersection exactly, which is located at x equals 1, y equals 1. Since this was a system containing a quadratic and a linear equation, there could be up to two points of intersection, or two solutions for the system. 